name's Chris Quinn and I'm the guitar teacher at AcousticMasterclass.com normally, but right now I'm making this video to stick on YouTube, so thanks for watching here on YouTube. Um, I'm going to show you this little pattern, this little area on the fretboard that's really useful for playing the blues in E, uh, if you don't already know it. Um, basically, I'll show you a lick first and then I'll talk, around, I'll talk about um, how you can use that pattern, that shape to make up your own improvisations and solos. So the lick goes like this. Okay? We're in the key of E, it's the E blues basically. Um, what you've got to do, get your third finger, stick it on the top string 7th fret. And we're going to go 7th fret, 6th fret, 5th fret with our 3rd, 2nd and 1st finger. Notice with my pick in hand I'm going down, up, down, always going down, up, down, up, down on this lick. So We're going to carry on down the scale. We go eight on the B and five on the B. Now you can go six on the G and then back to five on the B. Okay, slowly. Just finish the lick there with a kind of which is five seven seven five with a couple of bends on the seven on the B string. So all together it's always nice to play an E chord after you play the lick just so you can hear how it's supposed to sound in context with the key that you're playing in. So I said I'd talk about the pattern, uh, about the, that shape, that area, and what you can do um, rather than just playing that lick. Why not try going up first and then back down? So use the, instead of going seven, six, five, go five, six, seven, six, five. Suddenly, it still sounds really cool, really bluesy. But it's different. Um, and I'll be honest, I made that up on the spot. I'm kind of ad-libbing here. Just noodling around the, the, the making patterns out of that, sh out of that scale. Why not? We'll go down, look, we'll start again from the start, so you go... When we get there, why don't we go back? Back to there. Then back down. Got that kind of bum bum. You could also, instead of going six on the G, you could also go seven on the G. Seven on the G, and then back like this. You can hear the difference. This is actually, I call this the blue note, the sixth fret, it's in the blues scale. But it's not a big deal really know, knowing the names of the scales and stuff. The important thing is to feel that sound. If, you, if you're watching this video, you're probably already into the blues. So if you go six, five, pull off, six, five, then eight, five on the B. So six, five on the top E, eight, five on the B. So there's loads.
loads of nice little sounds you can make, bluesy sounds, and hopefully that will set you up for an hour or two to just sit and noodle around that shape and have a bit of fun with it. If Again, if you like this lesson, I suggest you head across to acousticmasterclass.com um, because at the site it's jam-packed with hundreds and hundreds of lessons looking at blues, folk and roots guitar playing in particular, styles that I love. Um, it's a membership site so you can sign up and if you sign up you get immediate access to all of the lessons. Um, you also get access to a weekly timetable of Zoom lessons. Um, where you can join and take part in a live lesson with me online. Um, the lessons always end with a Q&A session, so everyone asks questions until the end um, if you have any questions or want any tips. And also on joining, if you join the site, um, you are entitled to a one-to-one -one lesson with me online as well, so we can set that up when you join. Um, thanks for watching. Um, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel here, Acoustic Masterclass. Um, if you don't want to join the membership site, um, I'm still uploading occasional videos here. So subscribe, do all that, and thanks for watching. And I really hope you have some fun with that little lick I just showed you. Cheers.